Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I warmly welcome you to my presentation about uh, the things we do at FOIT concerning the hydrogen topics. Um, we work together uh, in, a, in a project with different companies and uh, under, under them is the High School of Esslingen and Professor Werner uh, wanted to present the first slides but can't be unfortunately be here so I will take his part. Um, my name is Mark Bleischwitz. I am mechanical and mechanical engineer and involved in the project um, by manufacturing the pressure vessel um, by filament winding technique. Um, the first slides, as I mentioned, uh, come from Professor Werner of the, of the Hochschule Esslingen and handle a bit the topic about why we think in hydrogen and uh, what reasons are there for. And the first of it is, of course, um, the global emission uh, question. Uh, we see that trucks um, made 10% out, out of all global emissions. Uh, and we see, if we have a more precise look on uh, the German situation, um, we see that the minor uh, number of, of heavy-duty trucks is causing uh, the major part of emissions in Germany. And so um, this is one reason why we look especially on um, the topic of, of uh, heavy-duty trucks. The second reason is, of course, um, the emission regulation of the European Union. Uh, that, that has been made. We know um, equal regulations uh, from, from China, we know equal uh, regulations from the United States. So it's all more or less the same target to reduce, uh, to force, uh, to reduce uh, the emissions uh, of, um, of the trucks. Um, the limit here is to, to reduce it for half, and as we see on the first step there, uh, to reduce uh, the emissions uh, for 50 percent, 15 percent, sorry, uh, in 2025, is possible and thinkable by the optimization, for example, for, of internal combustion engines. But the second step to reduce the emissions uh, of uh, minus 30 percent is physically not feasible anymore in this case. So. This is the reason why we really have to think on serious alternatives uh, for combustion engines. Um, in addition to that, targets, um, there is, uh, uh, the European uh, Union has given out penalties and parallel to that also the um, CO2 um, certificates start uh, or are more expensive uh, with, with the time, so that it makes no sense to really think in long terms in combustion engines and combustion solutions. But what um, alternatives are there? We see, of course, um, battery electric, and in our opinion, battery electric for trucks, for uh, long ways to go, are not the right solution. We see them more in a um, inner city uh, travel buses, for example. Um, we see, of course, uh, the optimization or the development, further development of combustion engines, keywords synthetic fuel. Um, also, this, in our opinion, is not, is not really the right solutions. Uh, we see the hydrogen-powered fuel cell trucks uh, where you store the hydrogen and uh, feed the fuel cell that for itself uh, feeds the electric motor um, as propulsion. Um, within this project, I, I told you before, there's also uh, the company Kfera, uh, who um, drives, who, who has in mind, uh, or has, has in his uh, fleet, um, 40-ton uh, heavy-duty trucks in the off-road sector. And um, yeah, by the way, uh, the, the cement industry is, uh, is an interesting um, topic, also, it's an interesting thing for uh, reducing emissions also. 
because also during the production of the cement, uh, lots of emissions are given free. So also these, uh, these um, company starts thinking in how to reduce their emissions. Anyway, uh, we care about uh, the heavy duty trucks and um, if we uh, have a short look on the, on the economics um, and here especially on the um, price for such a vehicle, they see that in the moment, and this is the, the upper line, um, it is very expensive to, to buy or to such a truck. Um, and if we, in addition to that, see that the target I mentioned before in 2030 is, is about here, you can see that over this period um, the technique remains too expensive to really be um, serious. So that serious thought. So that we say into this uh, period a um, official uh, money is necessary, a official founding is necessary. If not, it's not um, realistic that the technique really gets in push, really gets uh, out of its own um, to work, to fly. So, for these reasons, uh, emissions, um, the um, um, regul reg um, regulations of the European uh, Union. Um, we also think at FOID uh, widespread about the topic uh, of hydrogen. It had became um, um, uh, a, a big topic uh, so that all other FOID um, people uh, think about it, starts projects about it. Um, so that the strategic work stream that um, is about the topic um, no. different topics. Uh, the first one is that we think uh, about hydropower, about how to produce um, the hydrogen. Uh, we think about uh, pipelines, we think about compression of hydrogen. Um, one of our, our big topics is uh, paper making machines. We think how to uh, reduce emissions there, how can we produce paper with less energy. Uh, we have projects on refueling stations and last but not least, and this is what I wanted to explain here further on, is the H2 mobility and here especially the so-called plug and drive hydrogen storage system. I work at Foyt Composites. We are working together on that on the topic with the colleagues of Foyt Turbo. Foyt Composites um, has two main processes to um, build carbon uh, parts and semi-finished materials. On the one hand, it is um, the fiber, the fiber placement. Uh, we have um, a wet and a dry fiber placement technology. Um, I think the most famous product out of this fiber placement um, process is the rear wall for the A8, which you can see uh, on the middle, on the left side. Uh, we built there um, a, a process line, a production line uh, for 65,000 parts per year that we can produce there. And on the other hand, um, one of uh, the first uh, technique, the first process is, of course, the filament winding uh, process. We build their rolls uh, for paper machines. They are long, 12 meters with one diameter in, in uh, one meter in diameter and dry shafts. And as a result of all this knowledge, uh, industrialization and winding technique, uh, we now uh, started to develop um, the hydrogen pressure vessel. As I mentioned before, we worked together in the whole Foyt group on that topic and uh, for the plug and drive uh, storage system, especially with the colleagues of Foyt Turbo. Um, 
they care about the mechanical structure, um, H2 periphery, um, and uh, the tank control unit. We're talking about a whole system that from the, in, uh, set, from the inlet of the, of the station until um, the, in, the inlet to the fuel cell, fuel cell um, brings everything so that you have just, as they, they say, call it, to plug and drive it on your, um, on your truck. At Ford Composites, uh, we do realize the winding process and we produce the tau pregs that we use for winding um, in-house. During this, this development process, uh, we follow the Foyt guiding principles, where uh, first and most important of all is the safety and the quality of the products. Um, second point is sustainability. That is, of course, a little bit topic of uh, the hydrogen actions. Um, we think in modular basic components uh, to be able to uh, deliver really every, everything to, um, to the customers. Um, we have many patented solutions round around that system. Um, we have um, patents on the mounting system. Uh, we have uh, on the pressure vessel itself, of course, um, started uh, these actions. And last but not least, uh, we're working on, the tap on this topic in an agile project management. So what we want to deliver, what we want to develop is a complete system, as I told, uh, from tank nozzle to the fuel cell inlet. Um, Feasibility, I mentioned, uh, we are working on recycling uh, techniques for carbon fibers uh, together with the colleagues of Foyt Paper um, that use the, the, the short fibers, the recycled fibers, then on to build um, a non-woven out of uh, carbon fibers. And yes, at Foyt Composites, and this is really my job, uh, is it to, to wind uh, the pressure vessels. Um, we use, as I told, uh, the tau break material. Um, we specialize on large pressure vessels, and it's type 4 tanks with a polyamide liner, uh, which we are winding uh, in Munich. So, why should the system be interesting for you? I mentioned before that we have um, uh, great experience in uh, the industrial handling of, of carbon fibers. Uh, we won also a prize in uh, 2019. Uh, I mentioned uh, the production of up to um, 65,000 uh, rear walls for the Audi A8, which is fully automated automated uh, quality checks. And um, yeah, I mentioned that uh, sustainability is part of Foyt's DNA. So, uh, and we produce the tau breaks, as I, as I told uh, before, to reduce waste um, in-house. And that's what it is. Have you got any questions? If not now, uh, we are on booth U37, really in the other angle of, um, of the exposition. Um, I would look forward to answer your questions there, perhaps, if here nobody really wants to.
Good. So then, 